What's up card family coming at you with another VR today and uh, this is a response from Mr. Fisher Bike. He wanted us to show our top five or ten vintage baseball cards. Now here's what happened. I made a big video about my top ten and two or three uh, uh, honorable mentions. And then I was going through my phone, deleting old files, and I accidentally deleted it. So I had to redo this whole video. But in the meantime, I watched Reindeer Studios' latest video where he did a bunch of VRs. And he said that this top 5 or 10 vintage was kind of a cop-out, you know, like, get more creative. Come on, Jason. Um, so I decided to get more creative with my response. And I'm going to show my top 10 favorite vintage cards that are not Twins or Senators. So no Washington Senators, no Minnesota Twins, and all of these cards, and I actually have 11 here, but two of them are a tie. This is in no particular order. Um, this was kind of difficult for me because I used to have a lot of great vintage cards. I used to have... Um, I used to be the, one of the ones that believed that you needed to have a, a Willie Mays and a Hank Aaron... And, you know, on and on. I, I used to have uh, multiple Willie Mays cards. I used to have Hank Aaron, Roger Maris, Roy Campanella, Larry Doby, Gil Hodges, Eddie Matthews, Ernie Banks. Uh, a lot of great guys. A lot of great classic ball players. But my mindset kind of shifted. And, and I realized, like, I don't really have a connection to it. And, yeah, I appreciate the history of baseball. I appreciate the history of baseball cards, but I don't think I need to have it. And I would rather have autographs. So if I can sell all these vintage cards in order to get autographs of Hank Aaron, like this one that I got at the National 2021, um, it's so worth it to me. I, I would rather uh, either I get a, a nice Kirby that's personal to me, or I get a Hall of Fame autograph. Because um, Hank Aaron actually touched that and and signed it um and that means more to me than than a vintage card so because i can't really afford uh signed vintage for all of these players um sometimes it's on things like this like a first day issue cachet or a hall of fame postcard or a, a modern card or whatever so that's why i don't really have a whole lot of non-twins vintage anymore so but I did pull out some that I did find. And um, so I'm going to show them. Now, almost all of these have a direct connection to another YouTuber. So I'm going to shout these guys out. I'm going to tag them. I don't care if they haven't made video in 10 years. I'm going to tag them in the videos. So um, first one, like I said, no particular order, um, is this 1970 autographed. Jim Bunning, which I won in a giveaway from Vintage Oddball Cards, Rick. And the cool thing is, is that he was able to give this to me in person at the National at uh, one of the first YouTuber get-togethers they did that year. And, um, and I gave him a care package, and he was actually, uh, seemingly anyways, uh, pretty impressed with it. So I, I felt good about that. That I was able to impress someone with such an amazing collection as Rick. Vintage Oddball Cards. So, Jim Bunning, 1970. By the way, um, Mr. Fisher Bike didn't specify, but I'm taking Vintage to be before 1980 for the sake of this video. This next card is a 1966 Don Mossy. And really, I have no connection to this card except for that it reminds me of my best friend reindeer studios scott huge uh, don mossy super collector so i have this card in my collection um these next two cards remind me of my good friend ryan rvd's cards um ryan and i work for the same company different branches um so we actually knew each other before um, I started collecting again, and I think I sort of inspired him to start collecting again when I was posting cards and stuff on Facebook. 
and uh, he's in this community now. I, he doesn't make videos anymore, but he's still on all the Facebook groups, and I talk to him just about every day. Um, I was at a card show with him, and I picked up these two cards that day, and because uh, I was kind of picking up some goofy cards, you know, and this is kind of a classic uh, tops card. It's in rough shape. It's somebody wrote on it. It's bad centering. It's wrinkled, creased, wrinkled, stained, everything. And then this one, you know, the 1973 tops set is so awesome. And this is just like one of the worst cards ever made. Steve Garvey with Wes Parker blocking him from the camera. But yeah, uh, Ryan probably doesn't remember these cards, but I was, I was at a card show in Bloomington with him when I picked it up. So that's the connection there. And here's another card that connects me with Ryan. And I was able to show a Harmon Killebrew after all. Uh, here he is playing for the Royals in the 1975 SSPC. I actually bought two of these on eBay. And I, f I found a two where they had two uh, PSA 10s of this card. And I m messaged Ryan. I'm like, hey, you want to split this? So we split it. And I mailed it out to him. So we each have... You each have one of these. It's almost like those sort of yin and yang necklaces, you know, BFFs. <laughs> All right, so this card here, the next one I'm going to show is actually the one that connects me the least with YouTubers. Hold on. All right, so when when we first started collecting, it was just Blake collecting, you know, and it was all modern cards, and we were doing uh, baseball crates and boom boxes and all that type of stuff. And opening up blasters. And I wanted to get a vintage card. You know, I was inspired by some other YouTubers. And uh, I had a library book that had, like, pictures of all these pre-war sets. And 1933 Gaudi was one of them. And I knew that set. And it's a famous set, popular set. And I wanted to have a card from that set. So I, I looked through and I picked out a card that looked great to me um just a thought was one of the coolest looking cards out of all the set it happened to be a common player so i picked it up and it's muddy rule and i just love catcher cards and i love this pose it's so cool and unique and uh, i had to get this card so i got it by the way here's a reprint card of it so you can kind of see how bright and colorful it originally is supposed to be and uh yeah I just thought that was cool. And Muddy Rule, and by picking up this card and, and looking up Muddy Rule and who he was, um, he played for the Senators and he played for them during their two uh, World Ser Series in, what was it, 25 and 26? I want to say, I wonder if it says on this card, no. Here he is on the St. Louis Browns. But uh, yeah, and that, that inspired me to go pick up Senators cards and start collecting Senators cards. Man, this is a, coming on, on to be a long video. So this next card is really cool. I didn't have a Roberto Clemente card and always wanted to have a Roberto Clemente card. And I mentioned that to my good friend Dustin Ballinger and he sent me this awesome card. He sent the card raw. The Daily Juice Roberto Clemente fan club card. So cool. And I sent this to Mike O to be graded. So cool. Connects me to Dustin Bellinger and Mike O as well. So that's cool. Speaking of Clemente, here's another one. And this is awesome. This is a plaque that I won from a giveaway from G's Mikey. He gives away one of these every year, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's just an awesome card. Like I said before, I love the 73 set. Such a cool card. And... Um, you know, and I'll always remember YouTube and G's Mikey for this card. And then uh, the cool thing about this card is I went to the National and I was standing on line at the Panini uh, Redemption line for hours. And uh, Blake was able to go walk around with Big D for life. And uh, he picked out a card and, and bought it. Uh, Blake bought this card. So this is his card. But uh, it's kind of cool that this was the first card that he bought at National. He picked it out himself. Um, he knew about Roberto Clemente, and uh, it's pretty cool. That was a great choice by him to pick this card out. Okay, moving on. So the third pirate card in a row. This is 
is the 1957 Bill Mazeroski signed. It was signed TTM. It's Bill's rookie card. The cool thing about this is I found out that Maz was signing TTM for a fee. And I reached out to Bob Lewis. And I said, hey, do you have any uh, Mazeroski cards? You know, And I wasn't even thinking vintage. I was, it could have been modern, anything. Um, I want to send a, send a card to him, TTM. And, you know, I'll send a card. If you get, send me a couple cards, I'll send a card for you and I'll take care of the fee. And uh, he sent me a couple vintage cards and he insisted that I take the rookie. So, Bob, you're awesome. So, I can't remember which one he got signed. I think it might have been the 1959. But, very, very cool. Very awesome of Bob to let me uh, keep the, the rookie. So that's cool. And this next card um, is this 1974 uh, Dave Winfield rookie card. And a back at six. So what's cool about this card? First, I'm a big Dave Winfield fan. He's a Minnesota native. Uh, he was a twin for a little while. Got his 3,000th hit in a twins uniform. And um, just a great, great, one of the greatest athletes um, of, of our time. And the cool thing about this is I won this in a giveaway from Silver Jackify. And it was actually Blake and I's first video that we ever made was a giveaway response to Silver Jackify. And we won the giveaway. So how cool is that? Um, so, yeah. Really cool. And then the last one I have to show also connects me to a couple different YouTubers. This is the 64 Tops Giant Al Kaline. Beautiful card, beautiful set, beautiful autograph. It's got that 10 grade. And uh, when I found out, when I first started to do TTMs again, I found out that Kaline signed and I'd reached out, I think, to Dustin Bellinger. He was working on building this set and he had duplicates. And he mailed me this card and I sent it in with my donation and Al Kaline signed it. I got it back. Posted on Facebook, and none other than Joey brings it, reaches out to me, and says, "Hey, you need to send that in and get it, get the auto graded." So I sent it to him, um, and he s submitted it uh, for the auto grade and got a ten. So super, super cool autograph, Hall of Fama. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thirteen minute video, but. Um, a lot of ties to other YouTubers. A lot of cool stuff. Nothing uh, nothing super out of the ordinary. None of these cards are like super duper rare or anything. Um, but they're all cards that hold a special place in my heart. And I like them a lot. So thanks for watching. Hey, go check out Mr. Fisher Bike and do a VR response for him on some of your favorite vintage cards. See you next time.